today we are going to show you the incredible value that you get in real estate in Rwanda at the moment. And what we're showing you today is this four bedroom house, super modern. And a lot of people are always complaining why we don't say the price for this one. We're going to say it in the video. This one costs you $160,000. And for this value, which is basically a one bedroom apartment in Europe or in the US, you get a big plot, you get four bedrooms, and we're gonna show you all of it. And we start by this honestly very, very nice garden. So you have perfectly manicured lawn here. Uh, what the developer did is they left this old uh, mango tree standing, which is really nice. So it doesn't feel like it's a, a very new house. It has uh, the characteristics of an older one. And here you have space for a barbecue, that way it's set up right now so you can entertain guests or you can have your kids play here. If you have a dog, this is more than enough space for it, especially since you can walk outside uh, in a very secure neighborhood, of course. More space here and, of course, plenty of parking for your cars. So, oddly enough, it starts raining a little bit uh, right now, uh, which is perfect because we have this sheltered terrace as well. So there is a, a roof. So even if it's raining, you can sit here, enjoy the view, which it's starting to look nice even on the ground floor uh, already. But wait until we go to the primary bedroom, which is on the top floor. It is, I promise you, one of the greatest views you have seen in Kigali. But before we get there, let's talk about the living area. So you enter here, very modern open floor plan. You have the living area just as you walk in on your left hand side um, tv is not yet mounted but this thing gives you an idea of where it's supposed to be so you have this l-shaped couch um, tv here so this is your relaxation spot when you come home from work what they did very nicely in here in the assembly house is um, these uh, different features just to break up the room. So you have a wardrobe space here for shoes, jackets, if it starts raining like today. Um, but it also just breaks up the room a little bit, uh, real wood, of course. And this color of the wood you'll see is picked up throughout the entire house. For example, on the stairs. So you'll see that in more detail as we go up. Um, the stairs are done on the steel structure and then with this very nice local Movula wood, uh, wood uh, the, the stairs and the handrails are made extremely nice. But before we go upstairs, we have a lot of ground to cover on the ground floor. So you have a dining place here, dining table for six, very easily can fit eight. So more than enough space. You have, again, to break up the room and to also break up the echo in here a little bit, which you can tell there's, it's not here. Uh, we have these little nooks or like cutouts in the wall so you can put your uh, decorations in there or actually practical things as you prefer in terms of storage you have more space under the stairs now what we've seen quite a lot in other uh, properties that have stairs like this is this is a perfect area for kids to play so you can put like a, a, this uh, soft mats on the floor and have your kids play here Fantastic space, so you can watch them while you work here or you watch TV there. They're close by, but they, they still entertain and leave you in peace. Now, of course, every house needs a kitchen, and this one has an open floor plan kitchen with a specific thing. Actually, this house doesn't have one kitchen. It has two kitchens. So this one is the so-called dry kitchen. Um, so you can prepare simple things here, breakfast and so on. But because it's open floor plan, the cooking will be done in the secondary kitchen, which we'll go to, of course, big space of the fridge. And now here you have the secondary kitchen. So you can actually um, cook here five burners and uh, prepare, bring your dirty dishes here when you have guests so it doesn't stay inside and smell. So that's the, the um, concept of that. You also have access, again, to the garden, to the driveway. So if you have house staff, they can walk in straight here and take, take care while you're inside uh, entertaining your guests. So our guests, 
also when you entertain your guests, eventually nature will kick in and they will have to use the bathroom, which is right here. The guest bathroom, there's some stuff stored right here. That's why we can't open it fully, but um, yes, guest bathroom here. So this is the ground floor. We'll get closer to the most amazing view of Kigali. Um, we'll show you the second floor first though. And uh, if you have watched so far and you are liking this video, please also do click the like button to indicate us that you like it. And in the comment, you can give us feedback. You can just tell us um, you like it. You can tell us what we should do better. Or uh, you can ask us for more information about the house. We respond to the comments. And, and of course, subscribe. We have a lot of very cool things on the channel. Okay, but let's continue with the tour. So we're arriving on the first floor. And uh, as I mentioned, see, this is steel and this is the wooden features on it. I really, really like it. It's super nice. And it matches also with these doors, real wood doors. It's not MDF or, or anything. This is proper professional wood stuff. So bedroom number one, clearly a junior bedroom. Um, big floor to ceiling windows, sliding doors, as you can tell here. And very important, mosquito net. There's not many mosquitoes in this area, but you don't want to take chances. So it's... Good to have it installed, all sliding, and even if it's warm like it is, oh, like it has been the last couple of days, you can open it and sleep with an open window, which is very nice. Bedroom number two, bigger. It is not the um, primary bedroom. The primary bedroom actually takes an entire floor. The one above here, we'll get to that in a second. Um, well, same view, same uh, window, and... You have the built-in wardrobe here. As you can see, someone is living in here. So that's why also we don't show you every single corner because people are in here. Uh, you have the ensuite bathroom, which has the toilet and a shower here. And of course, the other things that you would typically expect in a bathroom, like a, thing, a sink and a mirror. And you also have a, well, this is an office. It could be a bedroom. Right now it's done as a uh, set up as an office, but also a decent size space for wardrobe here. So whether you need a home office or you want an additional bedroom, this is a multi-purpose room, so to say. And it also has the bathroom. It's not ensuite, but it's just across the corridor. And you can tell here the kind of details, the thoughts that have gone into the development. You have a little step here, not much, maybe three, four centimeters. But the reason is in case there's ever some flooding or some water leakage, you know, of course, no one wants that, but sometimes it happens. It just keeps the house safe and make sure it stays in there and then it goes into the floor drain. But now we go to the grand finale, which is the primary bedroom, which is up these stairs. And you can see that you have the door right here. So as I mentioned, the entire floor up here is the primary bedroom. Karibu, come in, enter. And first thing you see is a massive king size bed. Now, I don't want to keep it from you longer. Look at this view. It is incredible. So firstly, you have a big terrace up here. And this terrace will get used, I promise you, because of the view. This is city center. So you see all the Kigali skyline is right there. This is Mount Kigali. Uh, this is Mount Rivera over there. You can see all the landmarks. So city center over there, you have um, the Kigali Convention Center with the dome of Kigali Arena, the new Amahora Stadium, Vision City, Vision City Phase 2. So super, super impressive, honestly. I was here doing sunset once. Honestly, it's incredible. The sunset's over there. Luckily, because you have the county levers here, it doesn't get too hot in the bedrooms. And maybe down here, you can also see the way the plot is set up. So um, you have the, the garden where we started and the parking, the uh, mature mango tree, and then the... the landscaping outside the gate. But we're not yet done. 
we have a few more things. We have the walk-in closet on this side. And uh, you see spacious, you can put his and her side. Provisions for a TV over here. And then, of course, a large ensuite bathroom with a walk-in shower. So, this house is incredible value. It is for sale. Um, it is also for rent, if you're interested. But we, we had so much feedback where people say, look, we want to see what you really get for value for money. And this house for $160,000 is very good value for money with this view. Just compare it to wherever area or wherever uh, country you live in. Look up what can you buy for $160,000 versus a very nice modern house with a garden, four bedrooms en suite. It is good bang for buck. So if you're interested, reach out to us. All our contact details are in the description. Uh, if you're still watching and haven't liked this video yet, please do so now and subscribe to our channel as we show you much more of Vibe uh, properties in Kenya and Rwanda. See you next time.